It's the time for the professional gaming keyboard from Beltron The Action. Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, we are going to take a close look at the professional gaming keyboard from Battletron. This is a full mechanical RGB budget keyboard with blue switches, the clicky one. But the reason I just want to make this review for you guys, because this thing is for sale with the Action. And Action stores, I think here in Europe, a lot of people will know who's the Action store. You can also buy a similar keyboard on AliExpress, Ball.com, there are so many ways to get these stuff. Nevertheless, they were selling it for 25 euros, so that's a very budget professional gaming keyboard. But the question remains, what are we going to get exactly? All right, so the keyboard is RGB. So in other words, we're having multiple colors for the backlight. Then we're having the red cord for connection USB. I'm guessing it's a woven cable. They're having the QWERTY, 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 what do I just said? QWERTY, 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 QWERTY. So the keyboard comes full mechanical. So it's not like these, let's say, fake mechanical feel keyboards. I just want to point out because I did some reviews about those. Then we're having the QWERTY layout. We're having the anti-ghost technology. The key life is 15 million hits, or that's what they're saying on the box. Six color LED backlight. And of course, we can change it out in several color modes. I'm very curious how this is going to work. I'm going to take a close look at it in the video, of course. All right, let's open it up. Let's see what we're going to get with this professional gaming keyboard. And inside the box, we're going to find the very clicky keyboard, of course. It weighs super heavy. That is something I already noticed. We're going to get the tool for removing a keycap. Then we're having the manual, this board, like the basic toilet paper manual that we're going to get, the deluxe edition. But here we're going to get some explanations, as you can see, some technical information, how you need to change out the light of future, because we can fade in, fade out, and the fade in, fade out function can be more like in quick, or you can put it in a very slow motion. Nevertheless, all the things you need to know are in the manual, so for once in your life, just read the bloody thing. But let's take a close look at the most important thing, the keyboard. Yeah. So the keyboard itself, I do like the feel of it. So the first thing I did notice when you're looking at the bottom, we're having the rubberies over here. So that's more like for giving you a lot of grip on your table. That is something I'm sometimes missing out with keyboards. Then we're having the feet that you can put in this position. But what I did notice with this is that they are feeling quite, let's say they're feeling quite good. And they're quite good, I say they're more like we're having this rubbery stuff on it. And again, the same story when you're putting it on your table it will not slide away and that is a very good thing. The cable is a very long USB cable and what you can see over here is that we're going to get a nice woven high quality cable you can see with more expensive keyboards and I'm very pleased to see that we're going to get it with a budget Pedaltron 25 euro keyboard. And for the people who just want to hear it. Oh man a lot. So what I do like about this keyboard that we're going to get a numpad and that is something you don't get with all the mechanical keyboards from this price range. When you're looking it up on AliExpress or other sites, most time you're going to miss it out if you're going to find a similar keyboard with a similar functions or better said with a similar price range because most of the time we don't have a numpad and I think it's just a shame because I use this thing a lot. So what is kind of strange for your rest palm, what I do like about it is more like extra support for your hand when you're typing and gaming. We see we're having something over here that seems to be there is an option for it, but I didn't get it with it. So I think it's a little bit of a bummer and still my main, let's say, biggest con on this keyboard. But how it's with the keycaps. So as you can see in the inside, this is what you're going to get. It's quite a good quality. They got a very nice travel in general, so this is what you can expect from very cheap keyboards. The travel on the bottom is quite long as you can see over here. I do like it, but it's something you need to take in consideration, the same like the clicky sound, because we're having so many different switches out there and so many different qualities. Okay, so every time when you boot up the keyboard itself, it will give you a boot up sequence. I really like it. And it's ready to go. So I'll give you a quick overview. How does it work and how do you need to navigate through the colors and all the options? 
Okie dokie, so the following thing you can do. So pressing the FM button, you can go up and down and here you can navigate through all the ways you can put the backlight on a certain brightness. Pressing the insert button in combination with the FM, you can see we're having different modes. For example, we're having now more like a light up feature when you're typing. Also, you can of course put it off if you don't like that light up feature at all. And as you can see over here, now we're having an option like fade in, fade out or going left and right. You can speed it up by pressing FN and going with the arrow left and right. You can make it faster, you can make it slower. And that's the way how it goes. The same goes like this. Fade in, fade out, or you can just put it on the color that it goes like this. We have some extra options over here when you're pressing the FN button and you're pressing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there are quite some different ways you can power on this keyboard. Still, it's very limited. You can't have any software so far, I know. This is what you see, this is what you're going to get. Hi hey guys, welcome back. So we're going to try out some Unreal Tournament just to see how the game plays with my keyboard. I'm going to get my ass whoops, that's just a fact, simply because I've played this game not very long. But in the end, what I do notice with this keyboard, it responds very nice, even if the button got a very nice travel, and very long, I do like it. Alright. Finally! Oh, God! And I can say that I really like this keyboard for what it is. Oh! Go away with your freaking laser beam. <laughs> the Charlie moves really cool. But in the end, it's just a really awesome keyboard to play. And I really like the touch of it. Okay guys, so this is what you're going to get with this professional gaming full mechanical keyboard from Battletron from The Action. And I think this is more like a budget series. I think they are giving us a pretty good deal for the 25 euros that I'm paying for. Maybe it will be a little bit let's say more expensive in the future if you're going to get from a different place or you want to have a similar keyboard from a different brand. It's limited in some ways, for example with the light of future. Also very important, I really like a physical volume scrolling wheel, we don't have it. So here and there there are some things you don't have that you will have with an expensive version or a more like a deluxe edition. Yeah, let me know in the comments what do you think, did you own a Battletron or a cheap mechanical and what is your experience? Let me know in the comments, I want to thank you for watching, consider subscribing, hit the little bell, become one of the Wicked family and I will see you in the next video.